Good day, YouTubers. Uh, time for a spot of royalty. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination and Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. This is part two of the Baby Archie play date. And I'm wondering, is this, you know, is, is this damage control? Okay, because Megan showed up in this enormous dress, okay, after... After wearing skinny jeans the day before at Wimbledon, here she is at Wimbledon wearing skinny jeans and looking very slim, okay, is this damage control? Here's this fellow taking this, what looks like a very cheeky shot, and it was apparently a selfie, okay, and she had, had her security guy come over and tell him to, you know, step off and no pictures. You know, is this damage control? Was she concerned that Chelsea Davy was in attendance? Um, did she gate crash? You know, uh, did the queen order her? You know, everything's going so bad, Megan. You need to pull this together. You need to show out, show off Archie in public, and let people see that this is an actual baby okay uh, some people are saying the queen doesn't know that this is like a doll I find that impossible to believe it's I find it impossible to believe that Kate doesn't know this is a doll uh, there's no way okay she's standing next to Kate there's no way that Kate doesn't know what time it is and what's going on so let's begin with did Megan gate crash let's look at Megan and Harry Okay, did she surprise Harry? Because she wasn't scheduled to be there. She's on her maternity leave forever, you know, until she can straighten herself out, I guess. Um, was, was Harry surprised? Was she unexpected? Was this her idea? Okay, did, or, you know, was this Megan's idea? Uh, you know, last minute. And... I don't believe that Megan uh, doesn't think her hair is a mess. This dress is crazy. I don't believe that Megan doesn't calculate all of what she wears because the most important thing that uh, the women in the royal family especially do is what are they wearing. Okay, Kate wears the earrings from the Diana christening of Harry to... Uh, baby Archie's christening. That's very intentional and very, uh, you know, just the right little touch. That's, that's what they do. So she wore this on purpose. She didn't throw this on. She's looking, her hair is looking a mess. She's wearing this tent of a dress. She's looking disheveled. Uh, this is not accidental in my mind. So Megan and Harry, did Megan, what's Megan's reaction? What's Harry's reaction? Did she gate crash? Was this Megan? That's odd. Harry. Okay, is this a gate crash? Is this a sudden decision? Like, she see, it seems she gate crashed the ball game. Okay, was she completely unexpected? Okay, 11 and 9, 5 spades. Roadblock, no. Blocked, not invited. Lovers, and yes. So we have two shutting down and not invited cards. And then we have two, you know... Lovers key the key is her relationship to Harry and the lovers and a key appearance. I think she did gate crash. She was not invited. I think it's a fact that she was not invited. 
Okay, so five spades and nine spades. And then we have the opposite. We have a bipolar energy here. We have shutting down, full shutdown, and blocked. And then we have yes and lovers. So we have a bipolar energy showing. Like hot and cold. Like she wasn't going to come and then she just showed up and stole the show and everything it's all about Megan it's the Megan show when Megan shows up especially wearing this dress and there's Archie and this is the first appearance of Archie in the wild okay so everybody's watching and she's hiding him she's holding him in the same position no bottle no sunscreen no hat uh you know no diaper change you know in the hot sun for 3 hours how is how is Archie not crying? Like, what are you doing to me, Mama? You know, how is that po It's not possible. What is Harry's reaction? Angel, okay, this, this is usually Archie shows as the angel. Solid foundation and cornerstone and cornucopia, everything. Solid foundation of everything and Archie. Okay, 12 and 11, 23, six clubs. This is his family. It's very solid. He's very supportive of Megan appearing here. He has no problem with this at all. I was thinking maybe he would show shock, dismay, maybe a little fear, like what's going on? Why do you keep, you know, jumping me like this? What's going on? You know, maybe he's starting to feel attacked or stalked or something. There's nothing like that for Harry. So clearly, some very strong bipolar energy showing for Megan. Is this damage control because of the, you know, her ridiculous, she cleared a whole row of seats. Megan and her two, two lady friends, her two besties, everybody's a bestie of Megan. They cleared a whole row of seats, okay, and then there was that guy taking the picture, and, you know, she's sending her security around saying, I'm here in a private capacity, uh, you shouldn't take pictures of me, and she's violating the the dress code of Wimbledon uh, against against the advice of her counselors. Because of course she knows in advance everything she wears is very calculated. This is a very calculated move to look like she's 13 months pregnant, wearing you know the Barnum ba Barnum and Bailey uh, circus tent. Why is she doing that? She's is she seeking sympathy? Is this damage control because of the pictures at Wimbledon? Yeah, so this is a plea for sympathy. Damage control. Is this damage control? Megan damage control. Is that why she's there? Okay, and with regard to Wimbledon, why didn't she... I, there's no picture of her with Serena. She went to Wimbledon, and there's no picture of Megan and Serena smiling together. What is going on? That's odd. Okay, so 20, 31, 8 clubs, all the people. Is this damage control? Snake uh, can be deception, twisting very complicated, the rooting, difficulties in the rooting and transformation of the public, of the public. Yeah, this is damage control. She wants to transform her public image that is very bad. Okay, her, she needs to transform the perception, the rooting. She needs to transform how people are seeing her, the strong impressions people are having of her because they're very negative. In the in the world, uh, and it just keeps happening. All this this negative relationship just keeps happening. There's a there's a constant undercurrent of negativity, and this is this adds sixteen four spades. There's a constant undercurrent of negativity. Every everything she's doing falls flat. Uh, okay, the whole Wimbledon thing. That's a public appearance where people will just snap pictures, and then she's demanding that people don't snap pictures. Well, it's an epic fail because she's, she's being a prima donna, okay? So she's trying to turn that around. Did the queen order Meghan 
to, to show up with Archie, okay? Because the, the, the picture uh, of the christening is exposed as a fake. It's exposed that it was taken, you know, May 8th. Archie's born May 6th. The picture is, is taken May 8th. All of these things are impossible. It's just impossible. Okay, so just so much, you know, just hiding everything. Let me show you. Okay, this picture is proven as another Photoshop. Okay, the this picture. Okay, and so how is this picture taken on May 8th and then created July, July 6th? It's taken on May 8th. Okay, two days after Archie's born. Is this a two-day-old baby? So that's a two-day-old baby. And then it's created on July 6th at almost noon. Taken at 11 p.m. and create 10.56 p.m. and created it. At, you know, it just goes on and on and on and on. Okay, so did the queen order Megan? Okay, is this from the palace? Did the queen order it? You know, do, do this. It's going to be good for you. Go out there. Show Archie. You know, just be a mom. Show that Archie's real and you're, you're holding him in your, in your arms. That's an A-plus move. That's exactly what she needs to do. But again, it fell on its face. She, it's very strange. So many strange things about it. Is this ordered by the queen? Wow, what's that ten spades doing there? <coughs> hand in hand, many people. Karmic relationship. Okay, the family can be the royal family. Twelve and ten, twenty-two. Six diamonds again, six, 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 devil and disaster and progression. Okay, so Megan is often showing as the devil, someone who will do anything. Okay, so we get six, 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 devil, jack of spades uh, and six diamonds, six, six, six. So did the queen order it? There's no monarch here. There's a devil. Devil acts on his, on, on his or her own, acts only for her own interests, will lie, will do anything. So the queen definitely did not order this, and it's a disaster because that's not a real baby. How do you, how do you stand in the hot sun for three hours? You don't put sunscreen on your baby. You don't put a hat on your baby. You don't cover your baby. Your baby doesn't need a diaper change. You don't feed your baby. That's not a real baby. So... It's a disaster. I do believe there is an Archie. I don't believe that's Archie. I believe that's a doll. Okay, and it's just, it just keeps getting worse. Everything she's trying to do. So this was her, it was damage control. This was her idea. The queen did not order this. Did Megan believe, there's talk that she believed that Chelsea Davey was at the polo match. Because when Harry was dating Chelsea Davey for seven years, Chelsea would come to the polo matches. Everybody loved Chelsea. She was in the VIP tent and just, you know, just being awesome. Okay, her and Harry were a really good match. Harry's a great guy. People love Harry. He was the most popular royal. And Chelsea is his equal. She was like, she's like a... A mini Diana, you know, just a beautiful spirit. Everybody loved her. The royal family loved her. Kate loved her. Uh, and you can just tell the difference in, you know, Megan's standing next to Kate the whole time and not interacting with her and hiding Archie and not interacting with the children. It's a very cold relationship between Kate and Megan. Uh, and it was a very warm and, and good relationship between Chelsea and Kate. So... Did Megan come because she thought Chelsea Davey was at the polo match? Whether she was or not, 
I haven't verified this. Did Megan come there because she thought Chelsea Davy was there? There's two women. Okay, we can see that. Uh, two women, the mother and a woman. This is a legit woman. That's interesting. 24 plus 8. 32. 8 spades. Scapegoat. Cast out. The woman who is out. Outside of the relationship. The woman who is outside of the relationship. Mother in the city. Secret. Megan did think that Harry might secretly be meeting up with Chelsea. Okay. She did think that Harry might secretly be meeting up with the other woman, the woman who's outside of their relationship. She did think this. So that's actually true. She did think this. It, it said that Harry snapped at Megan again. Every time we see them together, Harry is having harsh words for Megan. Turn around, you know, they're, you know, they're just snapping at each other. Here they're smiling, which is nice. Okay, but that can be a posed picture. You know, we need to smile. I think right before this, he may have snapped at, at Megan. Were they fighting? Did they fight at all that day? Did Harry snap at Megan? Did they fight? Did they fight at all that day? Here's conflict right in the middle. Oh, yeah. Okay, and, and when you're going to be snapping at somebody, you know, they're just, their behavior is just so hard-headed and continuous that you just, you're just trying to put a stop to it. Stop it. You know, and so you snap at them. Stop it. Uh, <clears throat> Star Bethlehem, Scourge, Straight Razor, Diamond Ring. Scourge is conflict. This is the conflict card. The Scourge has its effect not one blow, not a, you know, a very powerful blow, but over and over and over and over the same thing in the same spot, same thing over and over and over. Here's a cut, here's a conflict, and over and over and over. Four, eleven, three clubs. Yeah, they did have a spat. They did have a spat, but the relationship is solid. You know, diamond ring. Interestingly, Harry is showing very solidly. Harry is very committed to this relate, very committed to the marriage. They did have a spat. Uh, it is true that he did snap at her. Okay, so... Uh, yeah. Okay, let's do one last. What are William's feelings about Megan's appearance that day? Okay, because she's carrying a fake baby. Uh, she's carrying a doll instead of real Archie. Uh, and the world really wants to see Archie. We really want to see Archie. Uh, be, because why? Because we love Megan and Harry and we want to see Archie and we want to love Archie. Okay, keeping Archie away from us, that's a really bad move. Okay, but maybe they don't have Archie in their possession. All they have is this silly baby doll. Okay, and people are so hungry to see Archie. Uh, I don't know. It's the whole thing is a mess. I don't know what the right answer for that is. So what I think not showing us a baby doll is the right answer. What are, what are William's feelings about Megan appearing uh, at this polo match? What are William's feelings? Oh my, oh dear. Okay, can we see that? Okay, so what are... What are William's feelings? Broken chalice, broken relationship, roadblock right in the middle. He doesn't want her there. Home, she's family, she's part of the close family.
family relationship. Roses, he's going to put a good face on it because he has to. Nine, eleven, three clubs, this activity. Two threes. Uh, he really doesn't want her there, but he has to just grin and bear it. He really doesn't, he doesn't like this at all. But he has to grin and bear it, and he needs to make sure that this, if this blows up in their faces, that it doesn't hit him. Uh, and that's that's tricky because they're close family. Okay, and that's that's what's going on with the royals. There's a terrible disaster going on over here with Harry and Meghan, and all the royals can can be just obliterated by this bomb if this blows up on Harry and Meghan and, and the surrogates exposed and that this is this is exposed as a reborn doll and all the photoshops are exposed this can just really blow up the entire royal family and they can get rid of the royals permanently and that's definitely a possibility so I'm sure they're terrified and thinking about it because William is is slated to be king right after Charles he's gonna be king so all of that can just be wiped away by these terrible, by this ridiculous scandal going on, okay? They should send them to Africa. Oh, that's what they're doing. Okay. <clears throat> okay, Meghan and Harry. Did, did Meghan gate crash? Yes, she was not expected. We have totally bipolar energy. But it's all about the relationship Harry and Meghan are married, and here's the baby. So it became the Meghan show. Yes, she just decided at the last minute. I, again, I don't believe that this is accidental. She didn't just, like, throw something on. She was intentionally looking disheveled. She was intentionally wearing a bag for a dress. It's very strange. A bag with no belt. One of the wealthiest people in the world. She spent a million dollars on clothes last year. She can't throw a sash or a belt on that thing. What's going on? She's doing that on purpose. She wants to look like that. Harry is very welcoming, very solid. It's all about Archie. He's very supportive of Meghan, whatever she is doing. Okay, he's, he's very, she did gate crash. He's very supportive of her uh, in this situation. Okay, is this damage control for Wimbledon? Yeah, yeah. There's... The public perception is terrible, okay, and it's in the mainstream now. It's so bad that the Pollyanna mainstream that is always spinning everything ridiculously, even they are are telling you the truth now. There's there, you know, Piers Morgan is like, if you want to be private, Megan, go back to America and get off the English dole, and then you can be private. Okay, you can't be private if you live here and you live on the taxpayers' money and they spend three million to fix up Frogmore Cottage and you're not even going to live there and then they're going to send you off to Africa. Okay, that's not private. Okay, and it's just constant and it keeps happening. She's trying to turn it around, but again, it fell flat on its face. Everything just keeps falling flat on its face. Was she ordered by the Queen to appear? At the polo match, definitely not. This is her idea. This is Megan's idea. And what I'm hearing is that Megan doesn't listen to any of her advisors. Her advisors are advising her. This is what you need to wear to Wimbledon. This is how you need to comport yourself. And then she doesn't do anything they say. It's not that she didn't know she couldn't wear jeans to Wimbledon. She, she was told that she couldn't wear jeans to Wimbledon. And then she wore jeans anyway. Okay, so this is a disaster. The queen is, is hating this. 666 devil. This, the devil acts on his own. The devil doesn't have a plan. She just did this spur of a moment like it's a great idea. And again, it's a disaster. It's just step by step by step. It's a disaster. Megan is, is running her own PR and she's not taking advice. <coughs> and it's going very badly for her. Was Megan afraid that Chelsea Davy might be there? Yeah, there's two women. He, she was very afraid that, that Harry might be secretly meeting Chelsea Davy at this polo match because she loved going to the polo matches. <clears throat> did Harry and Megan fight? Definitely. He did snap at her, but he's very supportive and, and he is very committed to this relationship. But he did snap at her. He's, she's just off the rails. Megan is just off the rails. 
How does William feel about her appearance? He really didn't, he doesn't want anything to do with it. He, he's he's got to be taking Tums. He's got to be chewing on Tums because of the acid in his stomach. He's just, he's biting his nails and chewing on Tums and wondering, you know, hoping that this could can get on a better track really soon because this is a disaster. You, you can't go uh, and show a reborn baby and it's all a Photoshop. Okay, and also people are saying, Kate... Kate came in with a blue dress. How is she photographed here? Okay, first of all, she's a giant. If she stands up, she's taller than anybody there. Okay, Kate came in with a blue dress. She came and left with a blue dress. Why is she photographed here in a pink dress? It doesn't make sense. It's a Photoshop. Okay, so... Yeah, this was all Megan's idea. Spur of the moment. The queen, queen wasn't in on it. That's your royalty today. That's how I see it. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination, Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment.